Hey, I'm News 6 anchor Eric Von Ank and the handy newsman getting results at home in Winter Park. And today we're going to show you how to do this. Cut the cord, what that means, what to do next, and how to save yourself a ton of money. Cutting the cord means effectively cutting out your TV service provider in your home. So that's your cable company or your satellite company. But if you have high speed internet in your house or can get high speed internet separately and can get rid of those providers, then you can cut the cord and still watch TV on the internet or with an antenna. First thing to do is connect your TV to your internet. Most newer TVs are internet enabled, so if yours is, find the network icon under your settings and then you're going to log in using your username and password. If your TV is not internet enabled, but you do have an HDMI port, you can buy an aftermarket streaming device. Amazon makes one, it's called the Fire Stick, Roku makes its own version, but the purpose is the same, just to bring internet to your TV. And then once you're online, you can watch just about anything you want. Movies, TV shows, even new six. But one thing I gotta tell you, much of this content, especially the premium content, is subscription-based, meaning you do have to pay something for it. Some people choose to buy a subscription service from the bigger streaming services, Netflix, Prime, Disney, Hulu, there are lots of them out there. But in almost every single case, they are far less than any cable bill. The new 6 Plus app is always free. And you know what else is? Local television. That's where the antenna comes in. So the way this works is every local station broadcasts its own local signal. So you can get it for free, always, and the antenna picks it up. Now I should tell you there's different levels of antenna. This one we got at Ace for $15.99. But depending on how far away you are from the new six towers in Ocala and East Orange County, you may want to buy a bigger, badder one. Some people put the antennas in their attics. Some put them on their roof. Last thing is go to your settings, make sure that your tuner input is set to antenna, and then do an auto channel scan so it searches for and stores all of the available over the air channels. Suddenly I feel like I'm enjoying TV so much more when I'm paying so much less. And remember, if you want us to get results at your house, send me an email at gettingresultsathome at wkmg.com and next week we might just show up at your door. For now in Winter Park, Eric Von Anken getting results. Do six. Great choice of channels he's watching <laughs> yes. there. He looks Great. comfortable. It right. seems yeah. scary when you first do it. We mm -hmm. did it a couple of years ago. And the thing that will make you less afraid is when you see how much money you are yeah. actually saving. I mean, yeah. half. And you realize you don't watch all those channels no. you're paying for. Yeah. yeah, the options after cutting the cord still. Yes. Mm -hmm. just endless. Still a lot. Yeah. Still a lot. All right. If you'd like to watch that again, we put the repair on clickorlando.com. Just look under getting results at home so you can find out how you can save some money.